This video is sponsored by Waitrose. You can find out more on social media and YouTube using hashtag Christmas at Waitrose. Harvesting homegrown vegetables in summer is an absolute joy, but harvesting them in winter can be even better because while other gardeners might not have very much in their gardens or on their plots, if you put that time and effort into getting winter vegetables growing, then you can come out and harvest vegetables for your winter table and for the holidays. And that's what I'm doing today. This is a celeriac. It's a modest size, but this will make a delicious grated vegetable. You can also make it into kind of a mash. You can do so much with it. And the leaves are edible to you, kind of a celery flavor. I think I'd like to get another one though. Now, today I'm going to be making a delicious meal later on because it's a bit of a special day. Today is tree up day, which means we are going out and getting our Christmas tree. We're gonna be decorating it and also making a delicious meal using homegrown veg. We're also going to be using some new products from Waitrose and I can't wait to try some of those out. Right, so we need to find a tree that's gonna fit in the car, that's gonna fit in the house, and that looks good. Let's find it. This one over here looks like it could be the right size. What do you think? Yeah. I think that we've decided on this one. It's the right size, it's really beautiful. We can take this tree home, decorate it, enjoy it in the house, the scent, everything about it. And then at the end of the season, we can put it through the chipper and compost it and use it in the garden. Is inside and we'll be going in there and decorating it shortly but first I need to pick some more veg for dinner. Now we've got the celeriac and I'm going to be making a celeriac mash but you know we tend to make the same types of recipes. I don't know about you but we have our time-tested favorites that we go back to time and time again but today is different and I want to make something special and new and that is why I went to the Waitrose website. They have countless high quality recipes available for free on the Waitrose website. What I love most about their search option is that I can plug whatever ingredients I have into the search bar and then it comes up with recipes that include all of those. So when I popped in butternut squash, which we have quite a few of, as you probably know, and spinach, it gave me loads of ideas. In the end, I chose the caramelized butternut, spinach, and cheese rotolo. Now, I've never even heard of a rotolo before, but it looks incredible, and I'm gonna give it a go. And I have quite a few of the homegrown ingredients. I have chili, I have garlic, I have butternut squash, I have rosemary, and I have spinach, which I have laid out here in front of me. And I need 450 grams for the recipe, which is about the same size as two of the supermarket bags of fresh spinach. So I need to get picking, and then I'm gonna take you into the kitchen and we're gonna get started making this recipe. I'm very excited. I brought the spinach in and it wasn't quite enough. I weighed it all out. So I went back outside and I got a good couple handfuls of perpetual spinach. And perpetual spinach tastes somewhere in between spinach and chard and it's going to be perfect for this recipe. 
and I'm just giving it all a really good wash in the sink because it's been outside in all weathers and there's soil and other things on it and it's looking pretty clean. Now this rutolo, I wanna make before we start decorating so I have all that work finished. And it's one of those recipes that you can do that, set it aside and then come back and cook it later on. So we need to make two fillings to put inside, one with butternut squash and the other with the spinach and perpetual spinach. And then we've gotta make the pasta as well. The first thing that I'll do is I'll cook the butternut squash in the oven until it's just soft and starting to caramelize. And then later when it's cooled, I'll mash it together with chili flakes and rosemary. The second part of the filling I'll make with the spinach I've just picked. First I'll heat some butter and cook garlic in it until it's just starting to turn golden. And then in goes half the spinach. And once that's wilted, I'll add the other half. It cooks down pretty quickly. And when it's all soft, I'll spoon it into a sieve to drain. Later, when it's cool, I'll squeeze the excess liquid from the spinach and then add it to a bowl with cottage cheese, lemon juice and zest, salt and pepper, and grated hard cheese. The homemade pasta is relatively easy to make. It's just flour and eggs mixed and kneaded together and allowed to set for about half an hour before rolling it out into a sheet. Now, the sheet goes onto a clean and damp tea towel and then I'll spoon the mixtures on. First goes the spinach mixture, and then the squash filling gets dotted on the top and spread out. Next, it all gets rolled up like a Swiss roll and tied at the ends. About an hour before dinner, I'll pop it into a hot water bath in the oven to cook. We're also having a slow cooked treacle cured gammon and it's ready cooked and ready to go into the oven. It's still some time until dinner though, and it's time to decorate the tree. What is that? Hey. What do you think, Max? This is not an invitation to climb it or destroy it. Become familiar with it, respect it. <laughs> yeah, right. Did you just try to scratch it? This is where we keep most of our really nice Christmas ornaments. I love this one because it reminds me of bubbles from our tree when I was a kid. We've got a couple of these glass ones, but I also love this little wooden horse. And we've got lots of other ones in here, lots of birds. And of course, Maggie does love going after the birds <laughs> on our tree indoors. That one usually gets targeted by one of the cats. And there's really pretty stars in here as well. Which one is your favorite, Josh? Mm, possibly this little dude. No, it's not. You like the silly ones. You probably like, you probably <laughs> like this one. What's wrong with that? Yeah. <laughs> Josh likes ones that have Santa. That one's cute. I got a wooden set of Christmas ornaments when I lived in Germany. Just lots of little tiny ones. This is one of them. There's loads more down at the bottom. Oh, it's looking lovely, isn't it? It's just missing one last thing. Do you want to do us the honors, Joshua? Star on the top. We've got three different types of mince pie. We've got brown butter, we've got all butter, and this is fig and pear in a triple cheese pastry. And apparently that goes really good with the potted stilton. So let's have a taste test and see which one is our favorite. And there's three here for me and three for you. Don't touch mm -hmm. mine. It's all decorated now, and we're having a little tasty treat as a little break and a little reward for all the hard work of putting up the lights and the beads. The beads were probably the most difficult, but it's up now, I think it looks great, and it's got all of our favorite ornaments on. Turned 
how beautiful. I think it's a little bit more than the two of us are gonna eat tonight. We're gonna have this for lunch and dinner and enjoy it tonight as well. Now, this isn't the end of it because let me go get that slow roasted gammon. You're honestly going to love this, Josh. I should have put this on your side. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, wow. That's huge. You can't see it, but underneath there, I took a little bite <laughs> before it was finished and then I put the glaze on. It is so good and it will literally tear apart. Watch. Look at that. Wow. We are going to be feasting tonight. Homegrown vegetables and a locally grown tree. This is the heart of our holidays. We keep it simple and focused on food and loved ones more than anything else. For us, the holidays are about being thankful for what we have and supporting those in our families and communities. Many thanks to Waitrose for sponsoring this video and for the fabulous recipes on their website. You can browse them now, including Christmas recipes and the Rotolo recipe I've just made through the link in the video text. The Christmas at Waitrose food that we've been trying thus far has been delicious and you can learn more about their line on the website too. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week here on Lovely Greens. Bye for now.